Hi, welcome to the introduction of the Proton Pack. I'm Louis Tully. I'm the CFO of Ghostbusters Incorporated. Now I've been with the company for about five years now and this is a pretty good gig for me. I used to be just an accountant and also a tax and probation lawyer. We do thorough instructional videos like this because we're less liable with the insurance company for any complications that might happen in the field. Also, we use this as a tax write-off. All right, so we're just gonna go over a little bit of the Proton Pack here for you. The Proton Pack, designed by Dr. Egon Spangler, is a man-portable particle accelerator system that is used to create a charged particle beam composed of protons that is fired by the neutrino wand and holds negatively charged ectoplasmic entities. It's capable of holding a focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm of up to a class five full roaming vapor. Uh, and that's an improvement over the last one. Listen, the Proton Pack is not a toy. You're pretty much just wearing a field test, state and county permitted, patent pending nuclear accelerator on your back. It's really important that we're up to code on these to avoid any future fines or litigation. Each energy cell has a half-life of 5,000 years. And that's a pretty long time, eh? So now we'll just, uh, we'll just go over a few of the important components of the Proton Pack. So here you got the cyclotron. The cyclotron is used to accelerate charged particles using a proton accelerator and magnetic beams. Right here is the synchronous generator. The synchronous generator is pretty much the same thing as the synchronous motor. But you already knew that. So over here we got the crank generator. This will give you the most trouble in the field. But if you just abide by the manual guidelines and always go out with a proper charge, you really shouldn't have a problem. Alright, so right over here we got the power cell. Listen, we buy these in bulk from a Bangladeshi dealer that I met at a convention in Cincinnati. If we buy 30 at a time, we don't have to pay freight charges, and also we get a 10% discount on motherboard components, and that just makes good financial sense. All right, so moving on, we got the Neutrono on over here. This is really my favorite part. Um, you just, uh, just grab it here and pull it off just like that. This is pretty cool. You got your power switch over here and you got your intensity knob right here, right? That's going to lengthen or shorten your stream. You want to be real careful with it because it can get dangerous. If you got too long of a stream, you might burn your face off. Oh, and over here we got the trigger switch. Oh, listen, you don't want to be pointing this thing at anything other than a spook or a ghost or a ghoul or whatever, right? Well, that reminds me of this one time, the original Ghostbusters staff, they were down at the museum, right? And it was, uh, oh, it was New Year's. So it was all covered in pink slime. So you know what I did? I just strapped this sucker on and just went down there and I had to take a bus because the trains were all messed up. And so but I just anyway, turned this baby on and just started shooting at the baby. And you know, I think I did a pretty good job and whatever. And so anyway, like, so it was, oh, right, oh, right. So the uh, streams, right? Ordinarily, you wouldn't want to cross the streams because uh, crossing the streams could cause a, a mix-up with the positrons, cause a pretty big explosion, much like the Gozer incident in 1984, but you already knew that. Okay, well that's about it for the Proton Pack. Uh, let me show you guys how to strap this sucker on. Uh, we're a team here at Ghostbusters, so you always want to get a partner. Hey Durden, would you mind coming helping me out? You got a boss. Alright, thanks. Uh, Alright, so you just want to put one arm in, and then the other arm, and then you drop down. It's pretty heavy until you get used to it. All right, so you just pull the straps there. And remember, you want to have a partner switch you on. Thanks. And uh, remember, with this new technology on your back, there's no need to be afraid, afraid of no, no ghosts. Ghost.